Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So if you are using Microsoft Power Toys, just a quick video to let you know that we have a new release of Power Toys for Windows 10 and Windows 11, which has been bumped up from version 0.81 to 0.82. And this update rolled out just a couple of hours ago. Now with this update, um, there are no new utilities and toys that are included, but we do get improvements rolling out to existing utilities and there's so much going on these days with power toys as i've mentioned previously as you can see so much is microsoft has packed so much into the app that power toys is almost becoming its own operating system as i've mentioned previously but nonetheless um, just to go through um some of these improvements that have rolled out now there's a new feature they've added to power rename and power rename as you may well know renames files and folders from the, the right-click context menu. So if we just head over to one of those and we just head to show more options, yeah, you'll find it, rename with power rename. And I've posted on this previously on the channel, but basically there's a new feature added to power rename to allow you using sequences of random characters and UURDs when renaming files. So if you are using Power Rename, that may be a nice inclusion to that part of Power Toys. And then if you are using Advanced Paste, which we have spoken about previously, which is a tool to put your clipboard content into any format you need. If you are um, using Advanced Paste, which uh, you can enable by using Windows Shift and V as an example, um, the paste as JSON. And um, they've made improvements in the paste as JSON feature to better handle other CSV delimiters and converting from INR files. So that's a bit of an improvement if you are using that feature. And they also fixed many crashes that were reported to Microsoft servers. So I always say any crash fix is an important fix. So um, that will bring a little bit of um, stability into the app. And then for the Color Picker and Power Toys Run, they fixed UR issues that were reported after upgrading to WPF UR on Color Picker and the Power Toys Run utilities. So those are the key highlights. Um, there are numerous other improvements that have rolled out. Obviously too many to mention in this video, but what you can do is you can just click on release notes. That'll take you over to GitHub. And yeah, we can see the release for 0.82. And we've gone through the highlights and yeah, all the other fixes if you are interested in are using the app and we'd just like to have a more uh, in-depth um, overview as to more or less some of those other fixes and improvements that have rolled out. And as mentioned, um, there are no new utilities and tools. So all we get in with version 82 are improvements and fixes um, for existing tools and utilities. So version 82 is basically a bug and performance fix update for Power Toys. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.